We're just already gonna be on the road. What are we looking at? Mom, what's up? Pick up directions, where are we going? So right now we're in Michigan? Greenville, Michigan? And we're printing out stuff. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, I used to print out uh, map quest directions to like get to friends' houses and stuff. That was so fun. Now, now, now it's so easy and it's great. And it's great how easy it is. How far? It's an hour. It's, it's, it's like two hour drive. Okay, that's not bad. All right, what's up, mom? When did you say the last time you were at this summer house was? Oh, when I was, I guess, 15. Your age? I'm 16. I meant about your age. <laughs> so long time ago. So a super long time ago. Just leave well enough alone. I don't want to say a long time ago. It's just whatever, you know? So like 35 years ago? And you say you're bad at math. Just what geometry. Like? Geometry is different than arithmetic. The summer house? <laughs> I just always really liked it there. It was an escape. From what? Everything, I guess. School, town, same old. Every day just felt like it was ours when we were there. Mm. Yeah, why did we never go there? Yeah, why'd we stop going? Sounds really nice. So why did we never go? I don't know. It was somewhere I always associated with being a kid. Yeah, we stopped going as a family when I was your age, and then I went off to college, and then married your father. Did Dad even know about this place? I can't imagine Dad passing up a free summer home where he could just hang out and do nothing all day. So you're saying your father is lazy? Hmm. He's a man of leisure. He's a man of leisure. Huh. Is that what that phrase means? What else would it mean? He likes relaxing. He sure does. It's probably why I never mentioned it to him. Mm. Because I knew he would never have put in the work to actually fix it up so we could use it. It needed a lot of work? Well, not last I saw it, but being unoccupied for decades out there in the middle of nowhere, it's got to be falling apart. Mm. It could still be in good shape, just, you know, a little dusty, some, some, some wood rot and whatnot, but nothing you can't, you can't fix up. Yeah, you're right. That sucks. I was hoping maybe we could fix it up. And use it as a vacation home? <laughs> We're about to be kicked out of our actual home. What would we need a vacation home for? Just uh, to I don't in? know. Yeah, we could live to there. To live in? Tess, I, I'm sorry. It's... You couldn't live there. And not, not year-round. Why not? Why not? Well, it doesn't have central heat. Or even really insulation. It's a summer home. Not a winter home. Hmm. It's better than not having a home at all, isn't it? Yeah. Well, th okay, well, fine. Well, then where are we going to live? Fine. Then where are we going to live? I don't know yet. We're going to be living in this car, aren't we? No. Just like when you lived in that van. We can mm -hmm. find an apartment. How are you even going to pay for an apartment? The theater company, uh, you know. I thought you said it was underwater. Well, you know, it's not doing great, but... Mom. What? When are you going to give up on the theater? Oh my gosh, no! Never give up on the theater! We just need money! We can find it! We need money. We'll find the liquid gold and everything Believe will be fine. Me, Tess. I know. If Dad was still here... Dude, Excuse stop bringing me? up your dad, dude. He, he could Shut help. up. Pay for things. I mean, yeah, I'm, I guess. If your father and I were still together, we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. Well, have you asked Dad if he could send back some money? To help? Absolutely not. <laughs> he, he doesn't have the money. But Dad moved out west for work. Did he, though? <laughs> Maybe it wasn't for work. Well, don't laugh at me. I'm not. I'm not. It's just... Work. Sure. Could it be it, another it person? <gasps> then what was it then? I think I deserve to know. If he hasn't told you his side of the story, I'm not going to step in and take that responsibility for him. Like mm -hmm. I always did. That's fair. Your father left me in a hell of a situation. We made all these decisions together. Do you not understand that? 
We made decisions that depended on us both, you know, sticking around. I didn't plan for any of this. Mm. <sighs> you idealize your father, you know that? And this is such a tough conversation. I just <sighs> don't really want to talk Which about it. Which is so fair, because I'm sure her dad Fine. sucks Let's never and did a lot of shit that hurt her Let's mom. Let's never talk about anything important. Ugh, it's just, it's a sensitive subject. And you're, yeah, and you think your dad's just great, but he, and he also did shit. He's nice to you, and he did shit that probably screwed over his mom. Screwed over your mom. Our mom. Our collective mother that all of us are watching this video right now. This is our mom right now. I'm pretty sure I heard my phone buzz from the glove compartment. Okay, I heard that too. Our little flip phone Nokia. Oh my goodness. Hey... Tessa Bear, just thinking of you. Oh my god. Easy to forget about weekends here. Every day is a work day for me. Hey dad, what's up? What happened with you and mom? Not much at work right now, but good to hear from you. How's work going? Good, making money, are ya? Oh, I get two options. Would you be able to send some money back to help me and mom? Oh shit, I didn't realize that I had options here. Oh, this is cool. Um... What if I just ask? Is that bad? Our mom's gonna be so pissed, but I kinda wanna do it just to see what the dialogue happens. what happens with the dialogue. If you're making so much money, buddy, you should be able to help out your kid. And the person who you were married to before. I don't know if mom told you, but we are moving out next week. I think it's going to be hard for mom to pay for rent at a new place. And stuff like that. Do you think you could send some money back to help? I'd love to, kid, but right now my liquid assets are all tied up in re reinvesting at work. If I could send enough back, that could help you worth a damn. Without it sinking my business out here, you know I would. But your mom's always been the smart one. She'll figure things out. Don't worry. I don't like that. I don't like that. Not even, like, a little bit. If you're putting all- you can take some of that money and help out your family. Okay. You understand, right, Pumpkin? I don't like you. I don't like this dad. Did you tell your mom you bought the tickets? <sighs> Not yet. Me and mom actually are on a road trip right now. We are investigating a family mystery and going to her old summer house. Can you believe it? Well, you need to tell her, kiddo, or else I will. And you know she would freak. Oy, oy, oy. I know you will. Love you. I actually have to get back to it now. Treat your mom nice, okay? Talk to you later. Love you. See you soon. Dad doesn't even say I love you back? I hate our dad, dude. This dad sucks. Are you sending text messages to someone? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes I, I am. am. To who? Uh, it's to, to whom? whom? Shut Nothing. up, man. It was dad. Hmm. Just getting his side of the story, huh? Uh, no comment. It's all right. Having a common enemy can help bring people together. Mm. You're not my enemy. Or dad's. So you don't say that Sometimes either. Sometimes it feels that way. That's fair to feel no, say like it's... it feels like it, but you shouldn't say like, oh, I'm your that's enemy, I'm your biggest enemy. That's so not, that's not toxic. This, these, these people have problems. These people are not communicating properly. Ooh, ooh, a new house to investigate things. And there's the van. Oh, this is really cute. Mom! My god. Are you okay? I just didn't think it would still be here. Um, Mom, it... Well, it is. <laughs> and it looks to be surprisingly well-preserved. It's... Well, it's not just like I remember it. <laughs> A little more... Run down, fallen apart, run down. Run down? weathered than the last time I was here but I guess I am too mm. want to start looking around yeah this isn't exactly what I pictured when mom said they had a summer home but it's still pretty cool in a retro way there's probably lots of cool old stuff inside from where mom was a teen and hopefully some clues to the identity of grandma Helen's mystery man Okay, let's go find love letters and whatnot. I want to get inside of this van. I want to open the door. Can I? We gotta find the key or something. Oh, this is van. gonna be so sweet. And it's locked. Gotta keep all the funky stuff in there secure. 
Please tell me the keys are somewhere. I need to see what a lava lamp looks like after it just sits there mutating for 30 years. <laughs> they might have been... Hmm... I can't remember. Don't do this to me, Mother. I have to see how much tie-dye is in there. <laughs> Please. Oh, August was always trying to steal my keys so she could get in there and mess with my stuff. They're probably in her room. Oh, the little criminal! All right, I'm on the case. The funky stuff is so close, I can taste it. <laughs> the van that mom turned into her bedroom when she was a teen is still here, but it's locked. She says the keys might be stashed in August's room. Okay, let's go investigate. We got so much shit we gotta learn. Do we go in here or do we go through there? I like this little door. This is cute. Little, little entered trailer home question mark? Is this uh Is this a trailer home? It's a mobile home. What did I just say? They're not the same thing. Well, what's a the difference? A trailer home mm. hooks up to the back of a truck and can be towed around. You can take it from place to place. A mobile home arrives on a trailer like towed by a big truck go on <laughs> a mobile home doesn't have wheels well why didn't you just say that <laughs> well I, I will admit it took me a moment to untangle the nuances all right okay so that's they're different eh, pretty much the same though what is this a little turtle dog thing a little turtle dog stool thing and some roller skates. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this old stove. Oh, that's sick. This would have been so fun in the summer. So warm, but it would have been awesome. Oh, this is great. I can't believe, like, no one's been here this whole time. Some cool magazines. Cool. What's this? Opal, I'm having so much fun. It's a total blast out here. Really, you have to come. I know you go out to your little summer house each year with your family, but I really think you should consider working at the park with me next year. It's all people our age running the rides and concessions and games. Plus, when the park closes, you can ride the rides as much as you want, as long as whoever running it isn't a jerk. Promise you'll come with me next summer. How are things out in this... Hold on, it's kind of hard to read this spot. Um... So how are things out in the sticks? Are you still working at that drive-in? If you don't have any luck with guys out there, wait until you come home out here. Come out here. The guys are unreal. I've seen stuff that would make your hair curl. <laughs> Say hi to your family for me. I'm going to write you every week, just like last year. So don't forget to write back. Your friend who is having lots of fun and wants you to be here desperately, Lori. This is like me with my friend Sam and I want her to move out so bad to California and she won't, but maybe one day she will and I'm praying for it, but I'm trying not to tell her too much because if I keep bugging her, she's not going to do it. So if I barely talk about it, then maybe it'll make her do it. And she's not watching this, so it's fine. <laughs> You're invited to what? August 18th, 7 p.m. Cindy and Mark's. Who are Cindy and Mark? This is to Helen. Darling, I know I'm running from something, but I've never felt so free. I just crossed the border and I'm running you from the desk in a room at a motel that's hidden off a little side road far from the main throughway. There's more driving to do before I find us a little place to settle down. But before long, I'll have a return address for you to write back to. Don't miss me too much. Mm, who is this? Mom! Well, would you look at this? A postcard from the mystery man. What was he running from? Hmm. I don't know. The cops, the mob, his conscience. Hmm. I like the mob. The mob? I don't think my mother would have gone for a mob guy. <laughs> According to the Sopranos, they can be very charismatic. Great show. When Great show. Lacking people. Great show. Wait, you've been watching the Sopranos? Oh, this morning. Isn't that a little for you? Oh, yeah. Very much so. Let's talk about your viewing habits when we get home. It's fine. 16 years old. I watch The Sopranos. It's a great show. If you seriously haven't seen The Sopranos, I highly recommend watching it. Like a sweet little dog food can. Some potato chips and a brown can. Interesting. Fun. What are these? Favorite little plain crackers. I think made a tin. Can I open this? Oh, it probably smells like doo-doo in there. 
I say let's go explore. Oh, we can't get through there. Yeah, what happened there? Let's- I wanna explore just a tiny bit more. Gun! Stuffed animal gun. Oh, look at this big pink guy. <laughs> Kurt won that for me. At the Who's fair. Kurt? Kurt? We- well, we met at the drive-in diner. <gasps> you had a summer fling? <laughs> I- well, was he cute? <laughs> I thought he was very handsome. And he rode a motorcycle. <laughs> oh my god, a bad boy? It... Well... Honestly, I fell for him pretty hard that summer. It was pretty, uh... Cool? On his motorcycle? <laughs> he was very... Romantic. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not like that. Well... A little like that. <laughs> Let's oh, go! Oh. So, what happened? Did you break up with him, or...? Uh, I don't remember. It was just a summer thing, it doesn't really matter. Mm. Wow. Did I hit a nerve? Hey, maybe we should keep looking around for more relevant things? This is relevant. I want hot mom lore. I want hot mom lore. Also, where'd you get this gun? Tell me about this cool gun. Aw, oh, cute plate. Aw. August's new friend. August's dad left her you- what? August's dad left her a special tie. It was a red tie and it had special powers. When August wore the special tie, she met her friend Nightshade. Nightshade lived in the shadows and would always be there to help. He was August's friend who would never go away. Hmm. Nightshade? It was because he could only come out at night. Or stay in the shade, as I remember it. Okay, well that's spooky as hell. August was just a kid. She needed someone to talk to. Did it have to be a freaky imaginary <laughs> friend who lurked in the shadows? That's kind of cool though. Wait, what about you or Grandma Helen? Well, I was a teenager. I don't think I was the most, I don't know, compassionate at that age. I had my own problems. If mm. I had a little sister and dad died, I'd be there for her to talk to. Hey! It's different. You don't know what having a little sister is like. Are you trying to say you were justified in not helping your little sister when she was grieving no, after but her father? No, but... Oh, God! I Come helped. on! I did. I mean, we were all there for each other, but... I could have used more help, too. I don't think I had anything left to give. So mm. August made a new friend for herself. One who would always listen. Yeah, when you're dealing with grief like that, like, it's so... There's a lot of, like, I wish I did this, I wish I helped out my siblings more, I wish, like, I was there for my mom, blah, blah, blah. But, like, yeah, it's hindsight. It's, like, when, especially you're still a kid, when she's, like, 16 or less, I don't even know how old she was at that time, but, like, you're just trying to survive. There's no, like, right or wrong way to do it. It's just you're, you're doing the best that you can, and you go through it, and you learn, and hopefully as time goes on, you figure out how to, like, handle those situations differently, especially with, like, kids. It's just hard. That's so hard. She's being such a fucking... Bad. She's being mean to her mom. And she's just got a lot of stuff going on. Fallout, nuclear fallout. All right. Yeah, I don't want to read about that. <laughs> St. Benedict, Benedict's Messenger. Ooh, okay. Just all the, let's see. There's bowling, men's league, choir, Sunday school. Hmm, Baker. Wait a minute. At August 12th, seven o'clock in the evening for those wishing to help instruct, all those seeking help teach may speak with Reverend Baker. I feel like I saw someone with the last name Baker somewhere. More information. Hmm. I kind of don't remember. I feel like I saw that somewhere. I guess we'll have to look through that another time. It'll it'll probably come up. Is my guess. Look at this cool old phone. Yeah. Now what? Now what happened here? Sheesh! What happened here? Looks like the wall gave way. Water damage, I guess. What is this thing? It's the water heater. Oh, that, that's why you said water damage. I get it, I'm following along. Well, it's not going anywhere now. 
Can we climb over it? No. God, look at all that rusty metal. I'm up on my tetanus shots, aren't I? <laughs> We're not risking it. Well, what's that thingy back there? Mm, it's a maintenance hatch for getting down into the crawl space under the house. Let's go rat mode. Go Is there under. any other way into the crawl space? I think there's a way to get in from around the back. Why are you acting so excited? Well, if we could get into the crawl space, we could climb back up out of that hatch and get over to that side of the mobile home to find more stuff. I'm not sure why you're using the plural here. And also, <laughs> I really want to see if there's any cool, creepy stuff under there. Like a skeleton. <sighs> Listen, you can give it a peek if you want. What an interesting there is pause. No way I'm crawling under there with you. You're on your own. Hey, mm. no problem. More cool, creepy stuff for me. Alright, let's go find cool, creepy stuff. A freaking water here fell through the wall. We can't get around it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go explore. If we go through the back, I think we just have to go outside and then and then see if we can find it. Well, I wonder if this door, this door is probably locked, which is why I'm, I'm going to guess that. Locked. What's Not in here? locked. That's just oh. August's old room. Let's try and find some other way in. Okay. So yeah, through the back then. Can we open this? Nothing in here. Okay. A oh, little dog house. Oh yeah, didn't they have a dog? I thought they did. Can we get like dialogue options? No. Aw, oh, gaze at the vista. It's out there. It's really pretty. Somewhere. That buried bootlegger gold. Uh-huh. Bigfoot too, I hear. And so you you've he heard. Found the gold already? What makes you so sure Bigfoot's a he? Oh, True. I love it. Equal opportunity cryptids. <laughs> Very forward thinking. Or her. It's or tests. them. Anyone can be a Bigfoot. Hmm. Let's check back here. It's locked. Oh. Hmm. There's another. Is there going to be like another way through the back? Hmm. You could crawl through that window, perhaps. Maybe there's another way. Maybe down through here to crawl. Hmm. Well, that was locked. What's this little scarecrow, buddy? Yeah? No? Aw. Oh, yes. Did you do these with Grandma? No, August did. I never had a green thumb. She loved helping my mother in the garden. Mm -hmm. Really? Why do you say it like that? I don't know. Can you picture August getting her hands dirty out in the garden now? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> but if my mother was ever out in the garden, she was out there with her, helping the best she could. I remember one year, maybe when she was six, she started crying so hard when it came time to pick the berries and vegetables. But the plants worked so hard growing them. <laughs> you can't just take them. Aw. Well, now I feel bad for the plants. She was a sensitive kid so am i so what happened hmm to August. Wait, i have to pause because it's like that one thing where people are like uh, are you vegetarian i'm not vegetarian i used to be vegetarian for a bit when people are like are you vegetarians but plants have feelings too so really you're not vegetarian man those people need to absolutely get wrecked someone needs to do something to those people it's like okay yeah oh you're so oh you're so funny oh you're so funny when you say that uh grinds my gears man it grinds them Just she doesn't seem so sensitive now. Oh. Life happened, I guess. Hmm. I wonder what their aunt's like now. But also, how the heck am I supposed to get back there? I said there's a way through the back, but I don't think that's right. I feel like there's going to be some sort of hidden key somewhere. Hold on, can I see? Maybe we can't get... Maybe there's another way. Okay. From the outside. Maybe there's another way from the inside to, like... Maybe I didn't look enough. Maybe there's some sort of key, like, in the one of these pockets or something, to open the back. Like, under a pot or something. Oh. Oh, no, that's the dog food. Hmm. Maybe the gun. Could we use the gun? No, we, what's, what's wild is that we really could. We could use the gun to just shoot it open. Oh, I didn't even check the drawers. There's gotta Locked. be a key in here. 
Maybe the little key? From, From Grandma's, Grandma's diary. diary, oh yeah! Nope. What hmm. secrets might you hold, little drawer? Hmm. Maybe we can find another key? Yeah. Well, maybe one of these will open? No. Hmm. Some sort of lighthouse, National Park, something royal. Kind of hard to read that. Hmm, there's so many things that are unlocked that we need to get open. Maybe under the plate? <laughs> hmm. Did I open this drawer? No, there's nothing we could open. Hmm, I mean, I guess we could try to go back outside again and use the key. But that's what I feel like the diary is for. The diary, like... You know what, I feel like there's gonna be something under a can. Like another key or something. There's something we're not exploring yet. Hmm. Fifteen cents for this? That's awesome. Uh, pick up roller skate. Oh, mom, tell me you about used it. used to roller skate? Mm-hmm. At the drive-in on Main Street. At the... Wait, why would you be roller skating at... <gasps> mom, mm. were you a roller skating waitress at a drive-in restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> when we were here for the summer, yeah. <laughs> That's sweet. Like in the movies! Like in the movies? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's cute. It seems silly now. I mean, it was silly. But I was glad to have the distraction. From what? Well, it was the first time we'd come back for the summer since my father died. Oh, yeah. I think... I don't know, I was probably kind of depressed. Yeah, no, duh. It, it was good to be up and, and moving around and not just sulking. And bringing people burgers on roller skates in a little outfit? Awesome. Oh yeah, the whole nine. Tell me there's a photo of this somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe? Well, I've got a new objective. <laughs> That's sweet. It's possible there's a photo somewhere around here of mom from when she was a teenager. We need to find it. Keep pressing escape by accident. Aw, oh, there's a little dog! The dog that was a painting by August! Ooh. These have seen better days. Yeah, it's a shame they've gotten so moth-eaten. Yeah, this taxidermy must have been beautiful when it was new. I meant when they were alive. Um, should I be snarky? Nah. Yeah, this taxidermy must have been beautiful when it was new. Did Grandpa shoot these? Mm-hmm. Well, the pheasant. I shot the deer. What? Mom, that's kind of awesome. Mom. I'm gonna say that. That's Hunting kind of cool when it's you know you know. Kind of awesome. When it's you done right. You were my age when you shot it. Younger. Our father took us hunting during the summers when we'd stay out here. Well, mostly just me. I always did all right with hunting. I could kind of, uh, what's the word? Compartmentalize it? I don't think August could, though. Mm. I only saw her fire a gun once. A little twenty-two hunting rifle. She didn't want to, but my dad wouldn't let her give up. He said we weren't heading back until August took her shot. So she aimed and fired and missed. The deer ran off, and August cried all the way home. That was August's first and mm. last hunting trip. Our father didn't have much patience for that kind of, uh... He had a real thing for, you know, not letting your emotions get in the classic, way. Classic, classic. Maybe it's good to let your emotions get in the way sometimes. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're trying to tell you something. Yeah, they are. They usually are. <laughs> Most of the time, that is true. Should I try going around again and seeing if I can get through there? Because I definitely can't get through there. I see some sweet pillows. I feel like I looked through all this stuff. And that's locked. Maybe let's explore the kitchen again one more time. How did I miss this key? Are you kidding me? This was not here. Was this here earlier? Someone go back in the video and tell me. Is it, was it here the whole time? I didn't hey, see it. Could it be? The key for the locked drawer in Grandma's desk? Perhaps. It very well could be. Only one way to find out. I guess let's find out. This wasn't here before. I feel like that was not here before. I don't 
think this was here. Well, I guess let's go check it out. Will it be another key? <gasps> Ooh. A postcard from Mystery Man, for sure. Darling, I've been driving up and down the highways and byways looking for the perfect spot. Somewhere secluded, where no one would think to look. With a little bit of space, I know you always liked a place near the water. I'll find something soon. Just keep biding your time and don't let on. Hmm. Aha! They were really gonna run away together, huh? He thought so anyway. Whoever he was. Why do you think Grandma decided not to run off with him? Well, maybe she just came to her senses. She could have gotten swept up in all the emotions and everything after Father died, and then when the time came, she thought better of it. Mm, maybe. Or... Maybe he thought better of it. Maybe something super messed up happened. Hmm. <laughs> Is it toxic if I say this one? Maybe something super messed up happened? Maybe something super messed up happened. <laughs> like what? I don't know. Um... Okay. He was driving on these secluded back roads and whatnot, and he picks up a hitchhiker. And the hitchhiker gets in, and he asks him where he's headed. And the hitchhiker says, All the way to the end of the line, man. And the hitchhiker's just staring off into the distance like he's lost at some faraway place. And then all of a sudden, with no warning, he pulls out this huge rusty bowie knife. It's actually pronounced Bowie. What? Bowie knife? No, it's like the last name, like David Bowie. Different last name. Bowie. Are you just messing with me? No, that's how it's pronounced. Bowie? Wait, really? Okay, well, anyway, maybe hey, this Bowie? guy got killed what? by a crazy hitchhiker. That's Wrong. all I'm saying. Well, that would be super messed up. Okay. Where was this at? Come find us. Montana? Alright. Well, if I have this postcard, I feel like they should let me go around now. I feel like I've explored as much as I can, but maybe that key is for the car. Probably not. But maybe let's... No, okay. Let's just try it all again, just to be certain. Just to be certain. Okay. We have one key, and it's from the diary. I feel like it has to open something over here. Maybe... Oh, look how flat it is. I'm, like, from California, so seeing stuff super flat is always so weird. I'm, like, so used to seeing, like, mountains in the in the distance. I feel like it almost, like... It's like being in the middle of the ocean. It's just, like... Bleh. Like, my brain can't really handle it. Hmm. Hopefully this key works now. No? Hmm. Really? I have- I have this though. There's a photo of mom? Maybe I gotta find the photo first. I know there's a lot of things we can't do. A freaking water heater. Uh, like, uh, there's an access to the crawl space around back. Is it under this? It's kind of confusing, huh? I gotta be missing something. There's no other things back here besides like this pile of wood. This over here, which isn't the crawl space. It's like under. Maybe there's like a secret area I can crawl under. That's like kind of broken. But it's not really giving me any kind of like animation for it. Oh, maybe. Oh, I missed this. So this is how we get into the crawl space. I totally like just missed this little thing. Let's do it. So this Let's is go how we into the crawl space. You keep saying we. Mm -hmm. So come on. This is how intrepid people with an innate sense of curiosity get into the crawl space. Among other personality traits, yes. Fine then, I'll go it alone. You're probably too frail to get in here anyway. Those creaky mm -hmm. knees of yours. Wow. Okay, into the filthy crawl space you go. <laughs> See you on the other side. Let's see. Ooh. All right. A little maze. So maybe a little rat that crosses my path. A new friend. So we're looking for the little crawl space, which I'm guessing is going to be over there. Are those the photos? I think I just saw the photos of my mom with the roller skates. Why is this under here? Oh. Is this her dog that died? Oh, 
Cool. Ooh. I don't know what this is. It could be a raccoon. I kind of can't tell from this kind of beak. Some sort of beak. I, I don't really know what that is, to be honest. Some sort of uh, gopher thing or something? I, I don't know. Now, what is this? Ooh, Ooh. this is good. Mom's got to see this. Oh, I'm writing from... I'm writing you from our new home right on the water. I was looking and looking and I realized there's no better home for us than the one we could just pull up, anchor it, and split if we really needed to. So I bought us a houseboat. It's really something else. Bought it from an older fellow who kept it perfect and was just done having to maintain it in his autumn years. Now just to get you and those kids moved up here. I hope it's been a good summer. Right back discreetly, and let's make plans for the big move. Something I've learned since Leo died is that being loaded with cash is the only way to live. Get ready to leave, leave all your worries behind. Dang, so they're really gonna move out there. Hmm. Dang. Four cent stamps, I wish. All right, well, where's the little crawl space area? It's somewhere up here, no? Oh, it's right there. Mom, I found a way in. Mm. Hang on, I'll open the back door. Hey, Mom, I found something. Look, look. Another letter. He wanted to live with Grandma on a boat. With the kids, Maybe too. Figure out where the boat was by looking at the photo. It looks like, well, it looks like a boat. Looks like <sighs> nice. It's big. Mm. Mm. Can't see much of the surrounding area. It's near trees? Maybe we can look for some of those. A place in Canada with hmm. trees. That narrows it down. I bet we'll find some more clues though. Kurt? Oh, there we Oh, that's cute. That's how far she had to drive to go see her little boy toy. What's this about? Oh, that was the town where Kurt lived. You know, we were a summer thing, but we were planning on how we could keep seeing each other once we both went home after the summer. I guess I was feeling pretty lost. I latched onto him and held on tight. He became my plan for how I would be okay. Mm. And that didn't work out? Yeah, like these things often do. So how'd you end up with Dad? Sorry? Well, you didn't end up with Kurt. How'd you end up with Dad? No. Oh. It was a lot of years later that I met your dad. After college, I moved back to Greenville for my bookkeeping job. It was, it was actually when I was in one of the first plays I performed in at the Andromeda. Your dad was in the audience. He hung around outside the stage door after the show and flagged me down. Mm. He said there was a problem with the production. He was so distracted by my beauty that he couldn't pay attention All right, to anything buddy. else going on in the play. That's so like, uh, and it's romantic. It's sappy. It's romantic. Aww, that's so romantic. I will it's like something it. out of a rom-com. I, I found it endearing at the time. He was very persistent. Was dad big into local theater? Uh, no. He told me later that he'd actually been at the play on a date with someone else. <laughs> Yikes. He told her he needed to head home, then hung around the theater to talk to me. Yo, okay. Wow. Bold. Did you find that endearing? I guess at the time I found it flattering. Yeah, especially if it's like funny. a first date thing, you don't really know that person, then this happens, you know. Red flag. Still kind of weird. <laughs> Are you saying dad cheated on you? Don't go there. What if I went there? Should I go there? I'm gonna go there. Wait, are, are you saying dad cheated on you? Oh God, no, 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 no. Just, uh, you know, it's a sleazy move. Mm-hmm. So, not the kind of thing Kurt would have done. Oh, hmm. I don't know. So. The mom seems pretty adamant that they that the dad never cheated on her, and that's not why they got divorced. But was it like so? I, I, yeah, the mom seems so adamant of like, no, 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 oh, no, it wasn't that. I wonder what happened. I wonder if it was money or something with like the like his business or whatever. That's my only guess. 
I don't know. Hmm. So that's where we were before. Is this August's room? Go mechanics. <sighs> oh man. I forgot that August had this. I let her keep it when I moved into the van. But August didn't even go to Fort State. Hmm. She almost did. We were both so excited to growing up. Don't you remember grandma talking about how much she loved it? I remember her talking about how sexist it was. Yeah, well, everything was sexist back then. But we're a Ford State family. You'll be a triple legacy. Hmm. I don't know if I want to go to college. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I guess. It'll be so exciting. Oh, man, you're going to love it. Eating lunch at Ford Hall, doing all-nighters in the library. Oh, there was this time when Lucy and I broke into the art building after hours. <gasps> I don't even know if I want to go to college. What do you mean you don't know if you want to go to college? Of course you're going. Mom, mom, I can make mom. My own what kind of choice is that? To be broke? Well, I'm not gonna be broke. I've been working really hard on my design. We learn anything from. And August didn't go to college. From that is that college doesn't really. She's talented. You know. She's also lucky. Gets you so far. When I'm 18. Look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's not a discussion. Fine. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, I you know college. It's really all about who you know. <laughs> well, howdy, howdy there. What's your name, buddy? Hmm. Oh, and a key. A key to the car. A key to the car. This has to be a key to the car. Awesome. Aha! Uh -huh. This must be the key to the van. Well, we'll check that out in a little bit. I want to still explore the house oh, so much. Oh, fun! Wait, did they not get to use these? Hmm. Good for one hayride. Ah. All right. Admission price twenty-five cents. Oh my god. What's this? No video games back then, I guess. Poor, hmm. deprived kids. Ah, you know what? Video games. I know I'm playing a video game right now, but ah, we don't need them. Can I open this? No. What's this? Oh, Ouija board. Should we talk to our grandma right now? Oh my god, Aunt August. I have so many questions. <laughs> Let's talk to grandma and ask her about Mystery Man. I think we should do it. Let's do it. Nothing in here, but something in here. Some paint sets. Ooh. Dear August. Oh, this is from her mom. Hold on, let's read this. Dear August, you were upset after what happened today, and that's all right. You need a time to yourself instead of talking to me, and that's all right, too. But upset as you are, you need to remember, boys only tease girls because they like them. That's not true. You should not teach people, especially young girls, that when boys tease them, it's like, oh, you like them. So then that they makes it think that like abusive behavior is okay because it's not okay. And if you like someone, do not tease them like that. Unless you know that you can both handle it in a fun way when you're older, you're like, ah, you know, not being mean, but, you know, just being able to laugh at each other. You know what I'm saying? That's different. That's very different. Anyway, I'm, I like to go on a lot of rants. You cannot control the cruelty of others, but you can discourage it through your own appearance and behavior or learn to play along. It's time to grow up now. I know you will. Uh, you can discourage it through your own appearance? Just like changing how you look? No, that's bad. That's bad advice, too. Hmm. I don't know if I agree with this advice. Uh, I don't know if I agree with this advice. This doesn't sound very... Mm -hmm. Millie to me. Millie was just a character, honey. I, I know, but didn't she usually give advice Grandma would have given? How could you tell a little kid that getting picked on was their own yeah. fault? I don't know if that's what she meant. It's right here. She's like, if people are mean to you, you should change. What, the bullies are right? She never told me that kind of thing when girls were being mean to me at school. She just told me to be myself. I guess... Well, maybe... If Mother could have gone back and given August the advice she gave you instead, mm. she would have. I hope so. Hmm. A oh, sweet little paint set. Anything down here? A shovel? A poop shovel, maybe? Oh. <gasps> treasure map! 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 This looks like the hand of a bootlegger. <gasps> I knew it. 
Knew what? This map could only be the directions to the lost bootlegger gold. Tess, this was clearly drawn by a child. Perhaps it was a particularly childlike bootlegger. Seems more like August to me. Looks like she was just playing buried treasure. Do you think there'd be anything there to dig up that was left behind? It'd be like a time capsule. Mm -hmm. Maybe oh, she's yeah. gonna come back for it later. It was her first investment. <laughs> she got started early. I don't know. Let's just go see what it is. Hmm. I do want to check it out. We have so many things we still need to explore. Like, what even is this? The mean boys. Aww. One day, August rode her bike to town because of how sunny it was. Because it was sunny, her friend Nightshade had to follow her behind under the trees because he lives in the shade and shadows and can't go in the sun. August laughed at Nightshade as... N laughed as Nightshade ran along under the trees and she and Nightshade made jokes together. When August and Nightshade got to the town, there were boys outside the general store. They saw August's special tie that made her safe, but it didn't make her safe from the mean kids. The mean boys came closer. They said, who are you talking to? And what are you wearing, stupid? August said, my dad's tie. The mean boys said, your dad must be stupid. August was crying, but the mean boys didn't care. They laughed and laughed. August looked for Nightshade, but Nightshade couldn't help because he was trapped in the shade under the tree far away. When the mean boys went away, August went under the tree with Nightshade. August's special tie was dirty. She gave Nightshade a hug to feel better, but it didn't help enough. And Nightshade's like her dad, just being dead. That's so sad. Jesus Christ. Poor kid. Did she get made fun of a lot? At school and stuff? I think she got picked on when she was little, but she toughened up. I guess right around this age, when we came back from our last summer trip. What changed? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know either. That's a good question. We summoned dad's ghost and talked to him about something. I couldn't tell you. But there was another room, was there not? Well, there's some stuff in the hallway too. Oh, look at this sweet Do you picture. Remember, well, did it seem like grandma wanted to leave my father? I mean, hmm. I guess when I was around your age, I started wondering why they were together in the first place. Mm. They didn't seem to... Make sense together? Yeah. Huh. I remember when I started wondering that about you and Dad. Why you were together. You're both so different. Did you used to have more in common? Um... Well... When you're together at first, everything about each other is new. It can cover up a lot of things. But when you get used to each other, that's when it can be hard. But sometimes, you know, by that point, it's too late. It's too not late. too late. Because you're already married? Because you have a kid? Because you have a kid? Well, that can be one factor. So you think you and Dad would have split up a lot sooner if I wasn't Don't around. say- God, I, they're well, saying I'm so I'm sorry many I held things. everything up, okay? Dude. Maybe you would have been happier if- if you hadn't been stuck with dad for Come so off it! Honey, that's not how it is. It's not as simple as that. And it's not because of you. There's... Uh, there's a lot more to it. We'll talk about it someday. When's someday? Not today. Then when? <sighs> not today. Hmm. Alright. Oh, that's her. That's her mom. That's August. I don't want to go in the crawl space. They just came from here. Can I open this? What's in here? That was my mom and dad's room. Well, just my mom's room last we were here. Hmm. Well, dang it. That door stuck. I think... Look. We could twist the latch open if... I think I could get this open with a flathead screwdriver. Awesome. Where's one of those? Um... Oh, I had a little toolkit in the glove box of my van. Well, that's a great memory. Nice. I guess let's go grab that. A little laundry room too. Mm. Cute, anything in here though? A cool vintage clothing. A cute little hair clip. Oh, this is cute. I wanna put it in my hair. And a mirror that doesn't work. 
Oh, and here's the picture. Oh my god, awesome. Wait, I wanted to talk to my mom about it. Wait! Wait, no, wait. Is there any way to, like, look at the items I have? Oh, I can't believe I missed it. I wanted to get that dialogue. It's probably just something along the lines of, like, Oh, you're picking up a lot of guys. And she was like, ah, shut up. Yeah, I did all right. That's what I'm guessing that happens. Dang. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that, folks. Confidential to precious stones? You're young, idealistic, and you trust easily. You have an open heart and a lot of pain to heal. Don't let someone who's more flash than substance take advantage of that. Hmm. Precious stone? This was you? Grandma was writing advice to rocks? This was to you? Subtle, right? <sighs> My mother Opal, was against I see. me and Kurt being together from the start. To be fair, I would go off to who knows where with him and sometimes not come back till the morning. Now I understand how worried she must have been as a mother. <gasps> you were a bad kid? Do you ever thank your lucky stars I'm not a bad kid? I don't know. You and Francine can stay up pretty late. <laughs> Playing the, the Sims! Sims yes! Pizza rolls. Totino's pizza rolls! <laughs> yeah, uh, you kids are wild these days. That's so cute. I used to play Sims all the time with my friends growing up. It was so fun. It was so fun. Hmm. I tried getting to run my- I bought a Sims 2 on CD. And it doesn't run on this Windows because it's like too new. So I've been trying to figure out a way to like emulate it. If anyone knows any information on how to do that, let me know. I've tried downloading it in ways that are totally legal and fine, and it still doesn't work. So I feel like you have to get like an emulated, like windowed version of like an old Windows to like run it. I don't know. I am desperate. So if someone please let me know how to do that. Thank you. And thank you very much. Okay, well, let's go outside. I bet I can just walk out through here and, and go check it out. Nice. So we got that done. I think we just have to we find the map. Wait, we isn't there isn't there um um I wanna I wanna I there's so many things I wanna do. Hold on. Let's unlock the truck first and then we'll see what was in August's in in the in her parents' bedroom and then we'll dig for the treasure. Cause there was a oh, shovel somewhere. It's Everything I'd imagined. It's got an ugly lamp. Acoustic <laughs> guitar. Weed. A concerning scent of mold. Not I mean, mold. What do you expect? It's been under this carport for <laughs> thirty years. That's why I'm not coming inside. Okay, I'll just look around and get out. It is kind of gross in here. You're just mm -hmm. looking for the screwdriver, right? Right. <laughs> Don't get too nosy, all right? All right, all right. But look at all this stuff. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder if there's like a love letter to Kurt. Aw, nice old record player. This is sick. Who is that? Hey, Bill. Wow. Death of a Salesman. Mom was Great even play. into theater back then. Huh. The School for Scandal. Oh, I don't know this one. Cool. Oh, alas. Not so groovy anymore. Replace the light bulb, maybe it could work. I don't know. Wow. Dear Opal, who's this from? Brutal, Lori. Brutal. But Dear Opal. Kind of fair. Opal, uh, I think this is from her friend that was saying, like, you should come work out here and she was sending her letters. Dear Opal, are you getting my letters? I haven't heard you from you since you told me about Kurt. I've been writing you every week. Things at the park are lame. All the fun people left, and now it's just me, Gordon, and the dorks from Sandusky. Sandusky? If I don't get anything back, I'm just going to assume you're too preoccupied with Kurt to write to me. At least one of us is having fun. I'll talk to you when school starts, I guess, unless I'm too busy. Hmm. That sucks. And some cool nail polish. What is this? Murder at Montague Manor. Oh, I don't know this one either. A little popcorn kernel? Okay. Well, I want to see, is there any hidden little stuff? I want to see like a letter from Kurt. I want more, I want more mom drama. I want mama drama. Oh, letter, there we go. This is what I want, Holy babe. Shit. 
Babe, this summer's been real out there, but I've got a split. I'm not hip to another winter with snow. I'm on my bike headed to Cali. Look me up if you're ever out that way. Aww. Damn. Damn, that sucks. I got the screwdriver. Sabino owner manual. Cool. Damn, that sucks. Aww. Well, you should move out to Cali. Maybe you find the Kurt there. Funky as you'd hoped. Well, I found, um... This note from Kurt. This. Mm. You guys didn't just drift apart at the end of the summer, did you? Yeah, why'd you lie to me? No. I came to work at the diner one night, and they said someone had left a note for me. And it was this stupid thing. <laughs> That sucks, Mom. I just felt like such an idiot. I put all my energy into plans, planning how we'd be able to stay together, planning how our life was going to be, planning how he'd be the answer for how I was going to be okay. And then one day, this. I don't know if I've ever cried as much as I did for the week after I got this. Hmm. He seems like maybe you just want something different than you. Seems like an asshole. The correct thing is the bottom one, but when someone's just going through something, you also gotta be like, yeah, they suck. He seems like an asshole. Hey, language. Well, that's fine. Sorry, but he was. But he was. You know I'm right, Mom. All right. Thank you. Wrong. Yes. See, sometimes you just gotta go into that. Summer. You can't rely on other people. That's, but that's but not the lesson. <laughs> if you put your trust but in other people, if you expect them to be there for you, one day they won't be. Oh boy. So you just shouldn't have friends or relationships? I, that's such a snarky way of putting it, but like, yes. So what, you shouldn't have friends or relationships? Wrong. Well, no, I just mean, you can care about other people, but you have to be ready for them to go away and be okay on your own when they do. Are you... Mm. You're making That's some dead dad like... trauma. That's some Are dead you trauma. Dad left yeah. you? I thought you said you both agreed to get divorced. <clears throat> well, either way, he's not here, mm. is he? Mom, what happened with you and dad splitting up? He always makes it sound like... like you wanted him to leave, but... He does? I, I mean, I... If he's telling you I wanted this, I... <laughs> See? <sighs> this is why you need to be okay on your own. If you're <sighs> fine on your own, when they leave, you don't have to feel this way. Remember that. That's like classic, it's better to have loved and lost than never loved at all. You have to at least try well, to trust people. Trust your gut at the same time, driver. too. Good. And you're just That's gonna good. get hurt. That's just part of life. And it sucks. But you need to feel it. Or else you're not gonna be able to have fun times, you know? That's surreal. It's like thinking about the future of like, oh, like if you're seeing someone or like just people in your life, your friends, and you think about like, oh, I don't know if I'm even gonna be friends with them or even like see them in like 10 years and things will be different and blah, blah, blah. It's like, you don't even know if you're gonna live that long. You just have to just have fun. Just have fun with it. And follow the bliss. If something makes you happy and you feel like it's not hurting yourself or the other person or the environment or like things around you it's like why not just continue doing something because it's fun you're not hurting anyone just uh, yeah just have fun you know don't think too much about the future of it like obviously if they're not a good fit for you they're not a good fit for you or they're not treating you right but if they are treating you right and everything's fine you know it's just real that some things are just going to change and that's and there you go now let's open this up. Well, I kind of want to dig in the backyard too. I think we'll dig at the end. Ah, door. We meet again. Oh, sorry, I skipped that by accident. Oh. Hey, good work. Thank you, mom. Thanks, mom. Thank and thanks, mom. Oh, what's in here? Oh, look at the beautiful lighting here. That's so nice. Look at these cute slippers. Oh my god, we should take them. Yet appealing. <laughs> oh, grandma. Those are cute. I think they're fun. What is this? Just a pile of rubble? Pile of dog or like horse 
manure. <laughs> All right. What's this? Oh, a little astrology book. Cool. And a Bible. And, and those are the only two things you need, huh? Darling, now wait. It sounds like someone's getting cold feet all of a sudden. We had a plan. Leo dies. I make tracks for the border. And when the dust settles, you follow me. This doesn't work if only one of us makes tracks. I've got everything you could ever hope for up here. A place of our own. A quiet little town where nobody knows our names. And a pile of cash that'll keep us going till who knows when. The kids will love it too. What kid wouldn't want to live on a boat? Get these silly, silly ideas out of your head and get back on track and we'll be together soon. Hmm. We had a plan, Leo dies. I wonder, this isn't a planned murder, was it? This wasn't a planned murder now. Would you have loved living on a boat? <laughs> I don't think so. I, I wonder what age he thought I was. He couldn't have thought a teenage girl would want to, wait. I hadn't even thought of that. My mother was just gonna take me and August and we were all gonna run mm -hmm. off to Canada? That's what I'm saying. I mean, of course she wasn't just gonna leave us behind, but... Sounds like Grandma had some big plans worked up. Hmm. Well, look, he said she started having cold feet. And she must have written him back and said she wasn't sure if she could come after all. You think she realized that maybe her kids wouldn't have been so happy moving onto a boat with some <laughs> random man in Canada? Can I start calling him Canada Man? <laughs> You can call him whatever you want. This is so strange. Love makes you do crazy things. Love or grief? Mm. Both? Hmm. <laughs> Where's this from? Couldn't tell ya. Hmm. And some more of the pottery. This is like a bigger version of that little one that was in the house. Anything openable here? Nope. Oh, and a perfume. Yeah, and a little, a little Easter goose. Cute. <laughs> Dude, geese are so mean. They're so mean. And for what? Mean and for what? King, queen, royal flush. <laughs> oh, my mom loved this desk. I remember when she brought it home from the flea market. Jeez, how many desks did grandma have? Uh, two? Kind of a lot, <laughs> really, only two. <laughs> she was a writer. She liked to move around. Well, that's let's not a see lot. What she was hiding in here. Ugh, it's locked. Another key. Mm. This gives me an idea. A little key from Grandma's diary. The little key from Grandma's diary. <gasps> right. Hmm this uh, from the wedding okay yes in sympathy our thoughts are with you Janet and David Richards hmm. the salty what the saltsman's Helen so sorry to hear about your loss please let me know if there's anything we can do you got you should do something you know beautiful pen Ellen, you can't just leave me here. I did all this for you. All for you. I- and those are my kids too, you know. I have a right. What? Dude. Is that their biological dad? Pierce Lord Trek. Oh, we got Ontario, folks. What's that? Dude. Wh I'm sorry. What? What does he mean? When he says those are his kids. Dude. Uh, I'm... Dude. Well, was Grandpa Leo not your real dad? I... Could that have been why he was trying to run away with you in August and Grandma Helen? I can't even imagine. Look, look, Mom. Look. This one. This note. It has a return address. Dude. Trek, box 9, Hop to Lake, Carndale, Ontario. We gotta go. We should go check it out. What? No. No? But... Tess, 
We already drove however many hours up here. It was and two hours. And all this stuff. I'm not driving us to Canada based on some return address from over 30 years ago. We have the rest of the house to pack up, and I still need to call the electric company to schedule our end of the service, which I probably should have done sooner and... Mom, stop. This is your father we're talking about here. It's all... It's about who you really are. The house can wait to die. This can't. We're going to pass over a trip to Canada. It's, it's not about who you really are. Like, uh, your knowing your biological father doesn't... It's not really anything, but it's like, it's what you w uh, think of it, right? Because your father was the person you grew up with. That was your real father, you know? This is just your biological dad. The house can wait a day. Let's just do this. This is your father we're talking about here. It's about who you really are. It's about who... I really am. Was my grandfather really my grandfather? Who was this guy? Who who are Molly, we? Molly, we're your grandfather. These the, are big the, questions, know. Mom, and you're just gonna turn around and drive home? Classic running away, Mom, dude. Okay, listen. Yes. Hey, I, I'm not doing this because of your sterling rhetorical skills. You didn't win this one. I just happen to agree, to agree with, with me, and I also I won. I do want to know who my mother might have been mixed up with, and, and why she never told me about it, and who my real father is. And if we go check out this address, we might find nothing, but we might find something. So if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other, then why not, right? Right. Glad I could convince you. No, you just happen to be right. Exactly. Glad you came around to see things my way in the end. Okay, should we get going? It's getting dark. Yeah, let's find somewhere to stay for the night. We'll look up directions. Get back on the road in the morning. Hotel night. We're getting room service. Thank you, Mom. Best weekend ever. Mm. But we didn't find that hidden fortune you were so excited about. It's in the back. About. It's in the back. We still have to yeah. figure it out. Maybe it's on the other side of the border. <laughs> Maybe. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, I need to. I need to go. Pierce is our real dad. I need to find I, the map. The 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 the, the, the map. I want to go digging. I want to go digging. I wonder if I could just like dig with my bare hands. But this is the area it says that we can dig. You ready to unearth this mystery? You are really getting into the mess on this <laughs> trip. Crawling through old crawl spaces, digging in the dirt. It's for the sake of the adventure, Mom. Don't let me stop you. That's. I wonder why the grandma never told anyone about it. That's wild. Even for like health concerns or things like that. It's like if you have that information, you should know. You know. What's this? Ah. Goodbye, Nightshade. Thank you for being my friend. I'll miss you. Oh, that's so sad. She married her. She buried her so imaginary this friend. Is where August buried her feelings. Mom, come on. It's sad. What? I don't know. Maybe we should keep it. Maybe August would want it. Mm-hmm. I think so too. I think so too. We can just put it in the car. Welcome back, Nightshade. It turns out the real treasure was the friends we made along the way. Just kidding. It was actually the grave of August's imaginary friend Nightshade. Um, it's just like kind of like an allegory for like her dad, kind of wearing her tie, wearing her dad's tie. I mean, that's so sad. Well, this is some really cool revelation. I feel like so many people have stuff like this in their own personal lives with their families, just like finding out just like random twists. It's just, it, this is so real. This is, I feel like some of the stuff like this has happened to me and so many of my friends that I know. And it's just like, it's a wild ride. So we're just going to keep trying to figure out the truth because ain't that just how it goes. Let's go.